So what's going on here? So the Richardson ISA superintendent says she wants to really take student performance to the next level and locking up, uh, locking up cell phones really could be the answer. But this is how it would work. So students would put their phones inside of these cell phone pouches. They lock, but then they could be unlocked at the end of the school day uh, just to, or in case of an emergency. So Superintendent Tabitha Branham announced a pilot program to keep kids from getting distracted by cell phones in classes. Now, originally she wanted board members to approve the pouches at every middle school and high school in the district this week, but it got a lot of pushback from parents. The convenience of being able to communicate with them and update them maybe on a schedule change or um, some other kind of family information, I think some of our parents feel very strongly with. Now, many also didn't want their kids to have a phone barrier in case of an emergency. Now, a lot of people feel strongly about these phone pouches, too. Here's what some of you had to say online. Uh, Jennifer says, you know, I have a child in RISD. I agree wholeheartedly that the phone is a distraction for my child. It seems like a middle ground could be reached. Perhaps kids could throw the phones in a basket when they enter a classroom and then pick it up at the end of class. A few more comments here. Uh, it seems like Louise and Eileen are on the same page. He says, is everyone forgetting the school shootings? and the need for parents to communicate with their kids if an emergency happens in school. In this day and age, with all that can happen at school, kids need their cell phones with them. Teachers can control this just as they do with other distracting behavior. One more I'll read this morning. Say this as we don't need some useless program or pouches. Phones should be kept with students at all times. Be put on silent mode when in school. Now, these new pouches, they're going to be tested at one secondary school first. The district will then compare discipline handed out in both situations, decide which works best, and then move forward but that school board plans to talk about these pouches in a board meeting tonight. And Kara, I expect to, it to be a pretty long public hearing right there.